Okay, this is uh, this is Mark Flatwoods Bee Farm. Um, I think today's September 30th, 2019. Out here working one of my out yards, and uh, just got a wild hair. Thought I'd shoot a quick video because I hadn't shot one in a while. I have a lot of people ask me how how I feed my bees. Well, this is uh, something I'm trying out, and I don't have my. I want y'all to do this with one hand. So if y'all get drunk from me moving around so much, I apologize. Just go get you uh, something to drink. You'll be okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is how I feed my bees. Or how I'm trying to feed them right now. It's something I'm changing to. I'm using uh, two, two gallon uh, buckets. It's got the uh, 40 millimeter or 40 mil uh, plastic or not wire in the, I'll show you sorry it's a little hot out here it's crazy look at all them bees wow what a strong colony eh it's bad for a bunch of chemical free bees anyway uh, get this but this is how I do it Let me take this box off I got no idea how this video is going to turn out anyway see how many bees is in this box yeah they'll just they'll fly back they'll figure it out so Anyway, here's what we're using now is, uh, all right, I'll get on down through there. We're using these uh, two gallon buckets that's uh, probably going to be completely covered up with bees on the other end. But anyway, it's got this uh, hole in the top of it. It's uh, 40, I don't know if it's 40 millimeter or 40 whatever uh, mesh in this hole. It's melted and impregnated in the lid on the bucket. And all you do is just fill it up with uh, sugar syrup, flip it upside. I flip it upside down on the top of the frames. <coughs> and they uh, they drank they drank all that. Well, I put it on there a week ago. They may have drunk it in one day. I don't know. But uh, that's a quick way to get get two gallons of syrup in them um, let's just see what they did with it now what I want to do I'm gonna check this outside frame you know when they store uh, nectar they work from the inside from the inside out so if I've got nectar right here I know that uh, it's pretty full and I can tell just by looking down in there it's going to be pretty full, full of bees too. But anyway, let's see what this frame right here looks like. And like I said, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I just wanted to shoot shoot y'all a video. All right. Yep. There's a little bit of nectar on the outside frame. And frames are unpacked. Anyway, let's look at them. Boy, it's hot out here. Why is it in the 90s in North Carolina on the last day of September? I just don't understand it. We've set so many new records here. It's unreal. So this is the second frame in, and they're already capping it. So... So I'm quite happy with how much with the stores in this colony let's give it a little half test oh, wow <laughs> just exaggerate anyway let me put that back in here but I just wanted to show that little bucket deal that's uh that's how I'm feeding bees now and we're gonna slowly migrate the whole operation to that um, at, at some point, what I want to do, I want to be able to do is 
um, switch all my outer covers over to uh, migratory covers with a uh, one inch hole drilled in the top so all I gotta do is set this thing upside down on top of that hole put me a four inch cement block on top of it and walk away and then when I don't have a feeder on it um, of course I get a one inch plug to plug that hole but anyway okay well, there's a quick, quick five minute video down through here and see what we got. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wish that colony wasn't so big. Now, granted, that top box down there on the end, uh, that top box is around the bucket, okay? So that's three eight frame deeps high. I wish it wasn't that big. I wish I, I, wish I had uh, one of those deeps off of it and just going to overwinter and... Uh, two eight frame deeps but you know oh, what do you do I mean, there's a lot of bees in here you can tell the population's good they're already kicking out drones look at that uh, can you see that drone pollen coming in it's been a good year for beekeeping for me here in Locust I'm in Locust North Carolina for those of y'all don't know where that's at that's about uh, about 35 miles due east of Charlotte. So, season's starting to wind down. We're just trying to make sure they got enough food on them. But I wish this thing wasn't so big. Of course, like I said, the bucket's inside this one. So the bees are just in them three. So, anyway. All right. There's your quick video. All right. Hope y'all having a great day. I know I am. Okay. So, I thought I would do a little, after thinking about it, I thought I'd do a little addendum video is that a word addendum man okay 40 mesh all right i know somebody's going to ask me how's this work okay what happens is this uh this 40 mesh uh wire screen in this hole when you flip this thing upside down like that it's just like those boardman feeders you know with the mason jars and the lid with all the little holes in it when you flip it upside down yeah it's going to leak for just a little bit but then it'll draw a vacuum and the bees will uh, suck that sugar syrup right through that and uh, and it won't pour out. So I just worked all of them, took all of them off and it worked great. Although got one down there trying to supersede a queen. Hmm. October 1st, that's iffy. But hey, we're in the 90s. Lots of drones. So who knows? This may be their year to uh, supersede late. I mean, I don't know. This is the latest I've seen drones in a while. Of course, Mother Nature's cooperating with that, keeping the temperatures high. So we'll see what happens. If not, I'll just, I got a real good queen in that little one. That little ten, uh, eight frame. So I might just do a combination. But we'll see. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt, see what they're going to do. Okay, enough of the addendum. It's time for me to most from grass. So y'all have a great day.